Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to study about the fertilization in the kara so for the process of fertilization we need a mature nacule of a kara which is a female sex structure so when nacule become mature When nacule become mature, the tube cells of this nacule are separated from each other. So we can write here: tube cells are separated from each other, and five. Slits are far. It means when nacule become mature, the tube cells of uh, nacule become set separated, and five openings are also known as slits are far. So these slits are used for the penetration or the entry of male structure, which are known as anthozoites. So slits are. in wall in penetration of anthozoites penetration of anthozoites so when the penetration of anthozoite will occur then the oosphere which is present in the nacule is fertilized and converted into a zygospore converted into zygospore when this diploid zygospore will form then it is a time for the release of zygospore from the whole structure and then it will germinate to produce a new plant so we can see with the help of a diagram how these processes occur this is a structure which is also known as nacule and these are tube cells and these tube cells are connected or are fused with each other these are the fusions and this is a pedicel which bear this whole structure pedicel and this structure is present on the pedicel these are the coronal cells corona and this whole structure is known as nacule but it is a mature nacule but when it become mature then these tube cells these tube cells are separated from each other and when these tube cells are separated from each other then they form a slits or opening and these openings are known as slits how these are formed so look here these are the coronal cells and now you can see here these openings are formed it means these tube cells are separated from each other and these openings are formed and these openings are known as slits slits this is also a slit this is a slit or these are the portions or a slits or opening through which male anthozoite can enter and fertilize it so we can consider here this is a oosphere and it is a time for penetration of anthozoite and it will become fertilized so when this anthozoite i can label it anthozoite when this anthozoite fertilized it then this structure become thick walled and converted into zygospore so how it become a zygospore look these are the coronal cells 
these are tube cells which are fiber number this anthelioside is now fertilized it and after the fertilization this will become thick wall and now it is not known as oosphere but now it is known as zygospore because it is now diploid cell zygo spore so now zygospore is formed which is a diploid now it is the time for the release of this zygospore from this whole structure for the process of germination so next we can say here how the this structure is released from this structure or a plant structure is known as nucule it mean how zygospore will release so of uh, it mean the process of releasing tube cells are again involved how the tube cells are involved the tube cells from the inner portion they will attach with this but from the outer portion they will decay like this it mean with the near to the zygospore these at these are attached but Uh, outer or a far away or a sides of this structure, these tube cells will become de uh, decay. So after the decay of tube cells, this zygospore come out from the body and now it is free and now it is a ready for the process of germination. So what will happen after the release? it means the process of germination will start so how the process of germination will occur we can see here this is basically a nucleus of this structure which is known as zygospore now after the fertilization we are going to study the process of germination so this is a structure and this central nucleus will present at the apical region it mean the movement from center will come to the apical or a top portion so that's why from this region the nuclei is present at the apical portion now this cell divide and produce two cells how this cell divide and produce two cells this cell divide and produce two cells which are unequal in size so this is a topper or an apical cell which is a smaller in size but this cell is larger in size so that's why you can say that after that vn two cell, uh, two cells are produced but keep in mind this vn is meiosis as a result of meiosis we know that four nuclei are produced so that's why after the process of meiosis four nuclei are produced the one nuclei is present at the apical region and three nuclei are present in the lower region this apical nuclei is known as lenticular cell lenticular cell and the cell having these three nuclei these three nuclei are known as degenerating nuclei degenerating nuclei so after some time these nuclei degenerate but now this lenticular cell is very important because it will produce some structure and after the formation of structure it will convert into a whole body of a car so after this division and production of four cells this apical or a lenticular cell will divide vertical division will occur and this cell is produced into two cells as a protonomal initial and the second is known as rhizoidal initial so this is a cell 
and this cell divides and produces two cells. This cell is known as rhizoidal initial. Rhizoidal initial. And this cell is known as protonemal initial. This rhizoidal initial will grow and give rise the node and internodes. It means this rhizoidal cell grow and give rise nodes and internodes and this Protonemal initial give rise or a grow and produce protonema. And then after the growth, it will become a new plant of a coral. So, in this lecture, we have studied about the fertilization as well as germination of a oocephalus, which is also known.